Welcome to another exciting edition of Travel Guide. If you are new here consider subscribing. Today we will be visiting the Adler Planetarium Chicago. What is a rogue planet? How did parts of the universe evolve? Yes at a price cheap compared to a walk through space, and time. The only problem with the location is that the enormous windows on the inside steam up, and the Chicago view is gone. It was well worth the drive to check it out. Everything is very picturesque with the waves crashing against the rocks that are covered in greenery, and bright flowers. You would enter in one area, it would bring you out somewhere else, and you would have to backtrack to next exhibit. The second was about searching for Planet 9 which had a documentary style, suiting narration, and interstellar darkness that put some of the audience to sleep. Visited Jan first using Chicago Travel Pass extremely good value with Travel Pass, a lot of things to see, the shows are great. Would definitely visit again if didn't get a chance to tour the whole planetarium. They also have a neat play area for little kids, it is really neat especially if you need to rest from walking around, and your kids wants to play. There is so much information, and many activities to do. The shows are amazing. If you have issues with motion sickness it can be a little disorienting due to the show making you feel like the whole room is moving. Overall the facility is clean, and large enough that even when it is crowded there is still enough room to move around, and see everything. Good for kids. Multiple shows available 7 in total, but they are half hour each, and the counters will not allow you to book more than 2 at once, nor are you allowed to book any within 30 minutes of each other. Other than the shows, the exhibits are actually that big so you won't spend a lot of time walking through them. Planet X makes a fun spot for your little ones to burn off some energy, and maybe learn a thing, or two while doing so. Great experience visiting the planetarium. You even get to touch a moon rock. There are exhibits that cost an addition from your entrance ticket, but are well worth the price if you are interested in astronomy. If you plan to see a solar eclipse in the near future, buy your eclipse glasses directly from the planetarium, available at the gift shop. They have quite a few interactive activities, helpful staff, and stunning views of the skyline. There were various exhibits on the planets, the moon landing, the creation of the universe, etc. The A Euro a Planet 9 A Euro? Show was also fantastic, and look, you really can a Euro TMT beat the view of the city from this location. The signs there are not good, the attractions don't always have an attendant, and they have no signs saying where, and if there is a line. It is not however as large as the other touristy destinations in Chicago so you won't quite get your money's worth for the admission. If you don't want to spend a lot of time at one place then this is right for you because it shouldn't take all afternoon to walk through the place, and if you want also watch a show. Worth it. Tip, purchase your tickets in advance, line can get insane, but if you pre-purchase you can skip most of the line. See the giant planets, and be sure to head outside to see the Chicago skyline. If you come, you should definitely go, and watch a show in the planetarium, or one of the theaters in the planetarium. It was incredible with lots of information, cool graphics, a live narrator, and an awesome theater with a screen that took up the whole ceiling. Love the Adler it's a classic old Chicago building, and if you've never been to a planetarium you're in for a treat. Learn about the sky, and the cosmos from a comfy chair, and see how the sky looks at any place on the planet at any time in the past, or future. Not exactly the most exciting place, but it's a really great visit to enjoy some time out with the family, or to go on a date if you're into space. Definitely a must visit if you're here in Chicago along with all the other museums, and big attractions. Overall a really enjoyable place, there is so much to see, and learn about, and Adler After Dark is a great opportunity to experience all of it if you don't want to share your experience with hordes of children. You will not really get the kind of exorbitant exhibits you see at the aquarium, or the field, and science, and industry museums, but the planetarium show is pretty good, there are also lots of astronomy facts, and displays around to teach kids about space, and the planets, and so on. The best part about this place, and you can ask anybody, is that from here you get the best view of the Chicago skyline. And when you are done, there is a beach right next door so you can have fun in the lake, and sand for a while before heading home. Thank you for watching. Do not forget to subscribe, and leave your comments below.